Does your well water have a lot of iron, hydrogen sulfide in it, or both? Here on the ranch, we are blessed with three good wells. Without this well water, we wouldn't be able to run cattle out here on the high plains. Abundant water, but the quality is not too good. A lot of iron, a lot of hydrogen sulfide. Work with what you got. It's mid-June and we've got our cattle on summer pasture. Our other two wells are taking care of their needs. I'm gonna use this well to send water to the two ranch houses and the corral. I'll put these iron and sulfur filters back online, clean up the water for the houses, make it a lot nicer. These filters are air over media. They oxidize iron, hydrogen sulfide, and other metals, and then trap it in media. Well water enters these filters it's sprayed through a pressurized air cap. Then the filter media traps the oxidized iron, hydrogen sulfide, and other metals. The media I'm running in these two filters is called Phylox. It's a pure manganese dioxide ore. Another iron filter media I would recommend is Catalux Light. Catalux Light media has a manganese dioxide coating over a lighter material. This makes the media a lot lighter. It's a lot easier to backwash. Catalux Light was the first filter media I tried in these filters. It worked really good, but I backwashed these every single night and the mechanical wear just wore it out. Phylox just worked better for me. It's a pure ore. It doesn't break down like Catalux did. Because the Phylox media is so heavy, I've made a big filter out of two. These two filters are run in parallel. They're not in line. Here's the water supply from the well. It gets split and runs through both filters. When the water leaves both filters, it comes back and goes into one pipe again, out to the pipeline. If you want to install iron and sulfur filters like these for your home, your homestead, or your cabin, you're not going to need a system this big. When we're using this well to water cattle, we run a lot of water through here. I've also made a few modifications to these filters. It makes them work even better. Modification number one. This is the air supply. This is where the filter sucks in its air cap. I've put tubing on this so I can run cleaner through the filters. When you get it from the factory, it'll look like that. So I've set this up. I can either run straight air or I can use these tubes, this one, to run a cleaner through these filters. My second modification was installing this Venturi. When they're running, I can turn this valve off, send the water through here, and it'll suck more air in. In the winter, when I'm using this system to water our cattle, we'll run so much water through here, it'll exhaust all the air in a day. By running the well water through this venturi, air is constantly replenished. The air cap is what oxidizes the iron and hydrogen sulfide. When the air cap's exhausted, these filters won't work as good. When it warmed up, this spring and early summer, we shut these filters down for a while. The cattle were just calling for too much water. So we have the water bypassed around the filters. I'm gonna change the valve setup so the water goes through the filters again. Close this one and send the water up through the filters. Turn the filters back on. The valves on the back of the filters are also in bypass mode right now. Since I had these filters shut down for a few weeks, we're gonna have to reset the time of day. The computers on these two filters should have remembered all my other settings though. That'll be the backwash and regeneration time of day, backwash duration time, rapid rinse time, and the air draw time. One of the first things I'll do is then open up the filter timers, put them in master programming mode, and check all my settings. To access programming mode on these timers, I have to set the time for 12.01 p.m. and then push the up and down arrows together. Here's how you do it. Time of day. Twelve oh one. Exit. Push these two buttons together to go to programming mode. There it is. 
DF stands for display format, and we're in gallons. That's what I want. Now we'll go to the next. VT is valve type. Downflow, one backwash. That's what we want. CT is control type, and we're on day. That's what I want. NT is number of tanks. I know I've got two filter tanks here, but they're in parallel. RT, regeneration time, set for 2 a.m. in the morning. The other filter should be 3.30. Backwash, 15 minutes, that's good. Brine draw or air draw, 45 minutes, good. Rapid rinse, five minutes, that's where I want it. Brine feed, zero. That would be for a water softener. Day one, on. Day two, on. Day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven. CD stands for current day. Today is Monday. We want this to say two. Sunday would be one. And that's all our settings. Now we'll go through the settings on this filter. Two. Now we'll set the time for 11.49. All right, our filter settings are all set and good. We're gonna backwash each one of these filters and then run the cleaner in, and we're gonna let that cleaner soak overnight. Deep clean. To manually backwash, we're gonna hold this button down for five seconds. Backwash mode. Now we'll open the valve. I like to do this slow. I like to keep a flashlight up here, and I like these clear tanks. I shine the light in and see what's going on in there. That's good, you can see where the filter media has been pushed up by the water pressure. Here's the filter that's not being backwashed right now. You can see how much lower the filter media is. Okay, both filters have been backwashed. Now they're in operation mode. It'll be nice to run some cleaner water to the two houses in our corral. Step one is gonna be a deep clean. We're gonna use iron out. This stuff works really good. Iron out contains sodium hydrosulfite. It's an acid and it can dissolve all that oxidized iron. Be careful with this stuff. It can really irritate your lungs and your eyes. You might want to wear a mask. I like to fill up my buckets outside where the wind can blow it away from me. I'm gonna use a whole bottle. Half in one bucket, half in the other.
I saved a little bit for this third bucket. We'll get to that later. Okay, I've got my three buckets full of iron out and water. The next thing I like to do is use my Venturi to suck iron out out of that third bucket. We're gonna close this valve. Backwash mode. Now we're pulling iron out through this filter. Now we'll put filter number two in backwash mode and pull iron out through it. Running the iron out up through this Venturi should help clean out these pipes and the filter bypass valves and some of the inside parts of the filter. Now I'm gonna put both of these filters into brine draw mode. That will suck in five gallons of iron out solution into each filter, and we're gonna let that soak overnight. Okay, that's all the iron out solution in both filters. Now I'm gonna turn the filters off so they don't regenerate tonight. We'll come back in the morning, backwash all the gunk and iron out out of these filters and put them back in service. Good morning. Here we are again at the well house. These filters have been soaking with the iron out solution for about 20 hours. Time to flush them out, regenerate them. It'd be nice to send some clean water to the two ranch houses in our corral. Both filters have been backwashed. Everything that the iron out solution burned off has been flushed out the drain. Now we're gonna put both filters, same time, into brine draw mode, which is actually air draw. And that's about 45 minutes. They're gonna suck in air and build the air cap. Go to brine draw. So we're in brine draw or air draw mode. Both filters are pulling air in. It's gonna push all the water out. It's gonna run for 45 minutes. Push all the water out the drain and build a pressurized air cap in the top of the filter. When brine draw or air draw is complete, it'll do a rapid rinse for five minutes and then the filters are back in service. That's air, water, and below that, the filter media. Here's what the well water looks like when it sits and oxidizes for a while. This iron and hydrogen sulfide is a nuisance. It coats everything. It's also pretty corrosive. Wears out valves, appliances, things like that. All right, rapid rinse is about done. I'm gonna turn the light off and you can see it build the air cap. A 
And that's it. We deep cleaned the iron and sulfur filters. Now they're running clean water. I like to keep two clear plastic bottles up here. I'll run a sample of raw well water and then filtered water and we'll just check it now and then. The raw well water will turn orange overnight. But when that filtered water starts to get a little orange, I know the filter media is coated with iron and it's time for another deep clean. That's usually in about a month. I like these air over media iron and sulfur filters. I think they work pretty good. Eventually, that media is going to get plugged up, it's going to get coated with iron, and then they're going to quit working. This is why people get frustrated with them. You got to do that deep clean with the iron out about once a month. Then they'll work for years. Here's our two water samples. Raw water straight from the well. And this is the filtered water. You can see it's more oxygenated. They both look about the same. Tomorrow this one will be a little orange. And it does smell like rotten eggs. We'll come back tomorrow, check our water samples, see how the filters are running. Good morning. Let's check those water samples. Here's the raw well water. Here's our filtered water. Looks pretty good. I'll keep checking these every now and then. Probably have to do another deep clean in a month. A welcome change in the weather. Hot and windy yesterday. Cool, rainy, and wet today. Thanks for hanging out at the windmill garden. If you found this useful, like and subscribe. See you next time.